For you subscribers who've been watching my uh, latest couple of videos, I have been getting into e-bikes, and when LaCrosse emailed me wanting me to do a review on one of their e-bikes, I definitely couldn't refuse, and this is what they sent me. They sent me the LaCrosse uh, Thunder e-bike. Let's take a look. This right here is pretty much how it came in the mail. The only thing I've done, I did take off the uh, white bandings. I had to get in there and uh, uh, grab the uh, battery and a charger and what I did do is uh, grab the charger and the battery to get it charged for this review right here yeah pretty well packed let me uh, let me get it cut open for you real quick if you are interested in purchasing one of these I will definitely leave the link in the video description I think this particular brand is the uh, across uh, Thunder, it's in black. You're getting in black or green. And also, uh, I think they're running for about $1,400 right now. There it is. Yeah, pretty good packaging right here. Very well insulated. Keep it from damaging. Now, if there's a battery, there's a charger I took out to get her charged for this uh, review. Yeah, no damage, looks brand new. I'm gonna start taking it apart and uh, separating it, see what I got on the box. Here it is, everything that come in the uh, package. Got your uh, charger controller, you got your battery. And you got your whole bike frame, back tire, uh, front uh, wheel right here. Your fender, you got a little box of this stuff right here. Looks like you got your pedals. And so here's probably your tool kit. Let me see, yep. All the tools you need to put her together. I'm gonna start putting together right now. If you notice, it's probably about 95% already put together. So I'm liking that. I really didn't want to have to spend all day putting one of these e-bikes together. I should have this together in 30 minutes. Getting this uh, handlebars put on. Pretty simple process right here. Now for the front tire, this right here it comes with this bolt right here. You gotta remove it. They just have that there to make sure the uh, forks don't get damaged during transit. Remove that bolt, replace it with this quick release. When you're putting a tire on, the uh, hydraulic brake pad right here, the plastic piece in it, just pull it out, get rid of it, and make sure that goes into there. Just like that. I'm gonna tighten this down. That was too easy. Take the plastic off the tires. This is gonna be very satisfying. Brand new tires. Pedals right here is pretty easy. You got your left and your right. So here is going to be Pretty straightforward. Just screw them in. Can't get much easier than this. Screw them in and tighten them down. We're done. This battery it came with is pretty solid battery. It's going to be a 28 volt, 20 amp. It's going to be a lithium battery, I believe. It's pretty heavy. This probably weighs more than the bike. Now, probably about. 20, 25 pounds maybe. This will be the last step. Raise it up in there. 
and it locks into place. I'm gonna have, it comes with two keys to keep for people from stealing it. Just unlock it just like that. It comes out. I am taking it to do a little test drive to make sure everything's fit. Everything is looking good. I really loving the suspension. Let me show you what all I have put together. This right here is a lacrosse thunder in black. Let's check it out real quick. Lacrosse Thunder, pretty cool little bike. So here's a, it boasts a 60 to 80 miles range. It all depends on how you uh, ride it. So between 60 and 80 miles, that's pretty large. And especially if you get like an extra battery or something, you can double that. That's what I would plan to do. Um, you got the uh, Samsung LG 48 volt, 20 amp battery right in there. And it's locked in there. Nobody can come by and steal it. This bike can carry overall 350 pounds. It's got a pretty cool little uh, pannier rack right there. Throw you some bags on there. You can go for a while. The uh, top speed is 28 miles per hour. Plenty enough on these dirt roads. It's got a full suspension. It's got two sh uh, shocks up front on the forks. Then you got the center shock right there. Of course, you got your fat tire, lacrosse uh, tires. This is gonna really help out in the desert, like deep sand, even rocky terrain. A lot better stability on these uh, fat tires. I think I'm gonna really like them. Then you got your hydraulic brakes. <clears throat> Definitely cannot beat hydraulic brakes. They're a lot better than uh, mechanical. Let's go up here. Got your handlebars right there. Got a pretty cool little grip, but there's a soft leather it feels like. Got your brakes. Got your bell right here. I would actually prefer electronic bell, but that will work. Let people know I'm coming. So here's your controls, a pedal assist up and down. Then right there is your on and off. Just hit that button right there. Then you got your splay, energy bar full, speed. Uh, pedal assist. I got on a one right now to how many miles you got on it so far. Then you got your Shimano uh, gear shift lever. And you got your uh, other handlebar with your brake right here. Right there is your throttle. It's not a full handle throttle, it's like a half throttle. So, yeah. In order to uh, control this up, see that one, two, three, four, five. And pedal assist, I'm gonna go down, press down, all the way down to zero. And then your middle turns this off. You press it and hold for a couple seconds, turn it on. In order to uh, work your headlights, you press the top button like two or three seconds, and your headlight will come on. You got the LED headlight, that looks pretty bright. And also your brake light comes on, isn't that pretty cool looking? If you squeeze the brake, let me see if I can reach over there. Squeeze the brake, goes off and on every time you hit the brake. I am loving the suspension, look at that. Especially driving around here on the dirt roads. I am loving the suspension, full suspension right here. I'm used to hardtail bikes with no rear suspension. I'm really liking this one. So far, so good. I'm gonna jump out here on the dirt road and uh, see how this uh, thunder rides. Let's go. Like I said, I've only rode hardtail bikes. And with this full suspension bike, I can really tell the difference, especially uh, right on this uh, gravel road. I'm just bouncing up and down, and you can tell. It's got some pretty good suspension right here. I'm actually really enjoying it. Very smooth, 
A comfortable ride right here. I'm gonna put this in pedal assist five, bump it up to number five. And uh, throttle only. I'm gonna see just how fast I can get it back up to on this gravel road. There we go. 14. 16, almost there, 22, 23, all right, I got to slow down, coming up on a bridge, <laughs> yeah, that's a pretty cool bike. Electric bikes has come a long way. They got all the bells and whistles on them now. This one definitely has it. The Cross Thunder. The main thing about the uh, e-bikes is being, like I said, is being able to explore the uh, National Forest and BLM land. And I was exploring down there the other day and I found a creek that you can actually swim at. I wanna take you down there on this e-bike and uh, show you different types of things you can find while exploring on an e-bike. Let's take a look. I also test out the suspension because it's got some pretty nice little bumps on it. It's pretty rocky. This e-bike does a nice job with the full suspension. Get those two front shocks. You got that real rear shock back there. The big fat tires really helping the rough terrain. Majority of the time the stuff are you know within 10 miles. I prefer to take my take the e-bike and take my motorcycle. Right up here is the creek. Look at what the e-bike can bring you to. Oh, this is pretty cool. Nice. Look at what the e-bike brought me to, the cross. Thunder e-bike, coming in pretty convenient, especially right here at Boondocking and uh, the Spurs camping out of the National Forest and BLM land. Those big fat tires get you through the uh, sand out in the desert, help you with uh, uh, rocks in the road, gravel road. Also that 750 watt uh, motor right there will uh, get you pretty much anywhere you wanna go. Also, you got the uh, battery, will last a long time. Hey folks, hope you found some value in this review I did on the LaCrosse uh, Thunder e-bike. Uh, E-bikes have come a long way and I've just now recently got into them. This review on this one right here, I really uh, enjoyed doing it. It's got a long lasting battery. It's got those big fat tires that uh, help me out uh, dis uh, disperse camping, exploring the national forest. And when I go out west, the desert, I believe it's gonna work real good in the deep sand out there. Really enjoyed, like I said, the long battery. I mean, what is it, 60, 80 miles? I mean, you can't really beat that. Highly suggest the uh, LaCrosse Thunder. If you're interested in purchasing one, I'm gonna leave the link to their website in this video description. And I appreciate you guys for watching.